Bubbles are great fun, but if there's one criticism you could lay at their feet, it's that it's really difficult to find bubbles that have any significant colour to them. Part of the reason for this is that the bubble wall is so thin, in order to end up with a dye that's going to absorb enough light, you're going to need extremely absorbent dye, and afterwards that's going to end up all over your skin, the floor, and your clothes, which is obviously not ideal. I'm going to show you a bubbled mixture that actually bucks that trend though. There we go, some blue bubbles. But how do we actually get around this issue of having a really strongly absorbing dye that then ends up on your clothes, the floor, and all over your skin? Well, this dye uses some really elegant chemistry to get around this problem. I'm just gonna stick some on my hand here. And you can see that at the beginning, it's got a really strong blue color which rapidly disappears on exposure to air, or even with a little bit of friction or water, that color's gonna disappear. So how does this work? Well, this bubble mixture uses a type of dye known as a leuco dye. Now, a leuco dye exists in more than one form, at least one of which is colorless. Students will probably already be familiar with a leuco dye that they use in school, phenolphthalene, to help them in acid-based titrations, for example. Now this dye works on a similar process to phenolphthalein, except the dye that's giving it this blue color is an adapted form of crystal violet lactone. This is not the full structure here, of course, but an approximation to show the key points. We have three benzene rings, one of which has a carboxylate group in the ortho position to a central carbocation. Now it's likely that Two of these benzene rings and the carbocation in the center are coplanar, allowing electrons to delocalize across both benzene rings here. The position of this uh, carboxylate in the ortho position means it's unlikely that this third ring is going to be coplanar. However, this carboxylate group is going to act as a bit of a mouse trap for us. Changes in pH, levels of oxygen, etc., can initiate a reaction to form a lactone ring to this central carbocation. And now of course we have a tetrahedral center which means that this is no longer sp2 hybridized and our other two benzene rings are no longer going to be able to delocalize across each other and therefore we're no longer going to be able to absorb visible light. It's a great demonstration to show how extended hybridization can actually give, give rise to color in organic molecules. So you may be tempted to actually try and produce your own bubble mixture using phenolphthalein. Unfortunately, the color of the bubbles isn't very convincing. Um, and also phenolphthalein's recent reclassification as a potential carcinogen makes it unsuitable for use with students in this way. They're likely to end up with spray on their face and it's gonna be all over the surfaces around the classroom. You can, however, obtain this commercially available bubble mixture online. At the moment, it's called Zubbles. I believe they're between manufacturers. Have a look, it's a really good, nice and simple demonstration and it really impresses when the color disappears.